Canterbury Cathedral, a place of Christian worship for over a thousand years, is now believed to be the home of some of the oldest examples of stained glass anywhere in the world. Uh, some panels have now been redated using a new technique, and experts say they were crafted in the middle of the 12th century. The cathedral authorities say it's a hugely significant find, as very little was thought to have survived from the fabric of the early cathedral, as our science correspondent Palav Ghosh reports. Canterbury Cathedral is among the oldest churches in England. Inside, its stunning windows depict symbolic religious scenes. This series was thought to have been made in the 13th century, but some of the panels, including this one of the prophet Nathan, have now been redated. For decades, historians have thought that some of these panels were made earlier than the others because they're different in style. Now, using a new technique, scientists have confirmed that not only are they much older, but they may well be among the oldest in the world. It's only come to light now because of this device called a window lizer. It may not look like much, but it was developed by scientists to be used on location without damaging the glass. It shines a beam onto the surface, which causes the material inside to radiate. This radiation contains a chemical fingerprint from which the researchers worked out its age. We've been working on this detective story for some time, putting all the pieces in place, and then we finally get an answer, something new, that brings together science and art into one story. It's fantastic. These are all stories that were recorded at the time they happened here. The discovery has astonished Leonie Seliger, who looks after the stained glass windows here. She believes that the redated panels could go back to the mid 1100s and were in place during great historical events at the cathedral, including the assassination of the then Archbishop Thomas Becket, who features in many of these windows. They would have witnessed the murder of Thomas Becket. They would have witnessed Henry II come on his knees begging for forgiveness. They would have witnessed the conflagration of the fire that devoured the cathedral in 1174. Um, and then they would have witnessed all of British history. The cathedral contains a story of England's history, its artistry and its religious thinking. Now, a new scientific discovery has given us a fresh perspective on the nation's past. Palab Ghosh, BBC News, Canterbury Cathedral.